Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 10. We already done some four questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll start with question number five. Construct a quadrilateral HOPE where HO is equal to OP is equal to eight centimeter. P is equal to HE is six centimeter and angle H is 75 degree. And then you have to say that what special name can you give to this quadrilateral that we have to see after constructing. So this is the rough sketch because it said that HO is equal to OP. So this if we take this HO and this OP, this board should be 8 and P is equal to HE. So P is equal to HE. This will be 6 centimeter. So angle H is 75 so this is going to be 75 so later on we'll see how to construct this is the rough sketch of it so that will be h o p e steps of this construction we'll see so now this is the construction but these are not the actual measurements so you can draw by taking the actual measurements so this is 8 centimeter so this also is 8 centimeter and this is 6 and this also is 6 centimeter. So I'll show you how to do this one. So here we'll start with, we'll take 8 centimeter HO. Then H is given as 75. So how to construct this 75 degree? This H is given as 75. So first thing what are you going to do? We will draw a perpendicular. So how to draw a perpendicular? So you will take a suitable radius, draw an arc. Whatever the measurement you take for this arc, same thing you will, distance you will keep and you will cut this into two. Starting from here, you will cut it into two. So now from here, from this point, you will draw one arc over here. Then from this point, you will draw an arc over here. So this is the point of intersection. So you will draw a line. So this is the perpendicular. So now here, whenever you see the first arc, this will be 60 degree. This is 90 degree. When the perpendicular means 90 degree, this is 60 degree. And this is going to be 120 degree. So now we want 75. 75 means 90 minus 60, that is going to be 30. So 75 means 60 plus 15 is going to be 75. So half of 30. So this will, this will get 75 in middle of this one. So what are you going to do? You will take suitable distance from here and you will draw an arc because now see here we are going to see these two points this is important because we are not going to see this arc only this one and this one so because this is 90 and this is 75 so middle of it we want it so we'll start with this point and draw one arc take suitable distance and from this one we'll draw another arc so now this is exactly 75 degree so now after doing this one, what are we going to do? We will take 6 cm. Now this, this is already done for 75. We will take from there, we will take 6 cm. Draw an arc over here. So this is the point of. Now we are, this line was already there. So now you can see here. Now again, now this also is 6 cm, so you will keep your compass over here, that's 6 cm, you are going to draw one arc over here. Then what will you do? Because this is 8 cm, OP is given as 8 cm, you will keep your compass over here, take 8 cm on the compass and you will draw an arc over here. So now this is a point of intersection, so you are going to join this and this and this and this one. Hope this is clear. So same thing is given over here, take a choice 8. From H construct 90 degree, take A and B as center, construct 75 degree. From H taking 6 centimeters radius, draw an arc. For more taking 8 centimeter, draw an arc. And from E taking 6 centimeter. So join P. So H O P is the required quadrilateral. So now what you can see here, this is 8, this is 8, this is 6, and this is 6. So this is a kite because two pairs in kite, two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So you can see this and this two sides, they are equal. This and this one, they are equal. So it is a kite. Construct a square of side 5.5 centimeters. So square, you know, that will be all sides are going to be equal. 
So this is just the rough sketch of it. And I have just mentioned it A, B, C, D. You can give any name. So A, B, C, D. So this all are going to be 5.5 because the side is given as 5.5. So this is the rough sketch. Now let us see the actual one. So again, this is not the exact measurement. You can take it on your scale and you can draw it, but I'll show you how to do this one. So we'll take, suppose we'll take because one side is given AB as 5.5 centimeter. Now you're not just going to draw one line here because taking scale and doing directly for 5.5, you have to construct it. So what will you do? You will take this point, you will take suitable radius on a compass and you will draw an arc. Same distance, whatever you took to draw this arc, you will, with the, this one, starting from here, you will cut this and this one into two. Then you will take this point and draw one arc. Then you will take this point and draw an arc. So now this is the point of intersection and later on you are going to draw a line. So this is the perpendicular one. Same thing you will follow for this one. Take the B point, take suitable radius, draw an arc. And you can also, whatever the distance you have taken here, you can do it over here. From this point, you will draw one arc from here. Later on, from this one, you will draw one arc. From this point, you are going to draw another arc. This is the point of intersection and you are going to draw the perpendicular one. So the perpendicular part is over. So now this is 5.5 means this also should be 5.5. So you will take, now this line is already drawn. So now you will take 5.5 on the compass and starting from here, taking 5.5, you will draw one arc. Same from here because this also is 5.5 from here, you will draw an arc. So this line was already there. So this is the point of intersection. So later on, you're going to join this and this one. So this is that, this also should be 5.5 centimeter. So same things that this is given. You can also write this steps of construction in your own words. So AB is 5.5. You can just have a look at it. So this is done. Construct a rhombus. PQRS in which PQ is 3 cm and PR is 5 cm. So now look at here PQ is 3 cm and PR is 5 cm. So now we have here if I'm taking a PQ but then PR PR but then how is that rhombus going to be? We want PQRS but this is going to be something PRS and then we will be Q and here S. So this is not the proper sequence according to the rhombus over here. See here again, I'll repeat, or even if you go this way, so it is going to be P, S, Q, R. If you go, see if you are taking P, Q, huh? P, Q, and this is P, R. P, R means it will be here, either here or either here, but still the sequence doesn't match if it is here S. It is not P, Q, R, S. So what are we going to do? We are going to take P, R first. So this is the important step. So PR, if we take here, 5 cm, and then later on, PQ is this one. So we can go for PQ, 3 cm. So now see a PQ, then R, and then S. So this is the proper sequence because the rhombus there was, that is PQRS. So always take this 5 cm because this is PR. So here, I'll show you how to, this is the rough sketch. These are the steps of construction. Now see here, we'll take, PRS 5 cm, but this is not the exact scale. You can take it on the scale, you will take 5 cm. Write here PR. Then for PQ is given as 3 cm. So you will on the compass, you will take 3 cm. Starting from this point, you will draw one arc over here, taking 3 cm. Again from here, you are going to take 3 cm, same thing, and you will draw one arc over here. And one more thing you can do because in, this is a rhombus, so all the sides are same. So we can do one thing. From P, you will take draw an arc up and one down. So now from R, you will draw one up and this down, so that will be more better. So now what you can see here, this you will join. That this also will be three centimeter. This also is going to be three centimeter this 3 cm and this 3 cm. It's very simple. So only the first step what you have to see that where to put whether here you have to put PQ or PR. So you have to see the sequence because they have said PQRS. So accordingly you have to decide what should be this 
starting line so these are the steps this you can write it in your own words also so now construct a rhombus RSTU in which RS is 5.4 centimeter and angle URS is 60 degree. So now when we see URS means which angle? See here, URS and that is the angle means the, you have to see the middle one. That means R is 60 degree. So what are you going to do? Now R is and you know the rhombus means all the sides are the same. So you will start with RS that will be 4.5.4 sorry. So this is 60 because you are this is 60 so this should be 120 why because these are the adjacent angles and that should be 1 180 so this should be 120 and then later on this 5.4 5.4 5.4 so this is the rough sketch so now i have shown you this one the calculations how to find out this 120 so in rhombus rstu r is 60 degrees so R plus this S that is 180 degree because they are the adjacent angle. R is given that is 60 degree. Angle S we don't know. This is 180. So angle S will be 180. If this goes on the other side, that is going to be minus 60. So angle S is 120. So this is the explanation for this one. So now we have RS plus ST plus TU plus UR. This all should be, sorry, we can just not plus, but we can put is equal to. means all the, the RS is 5.4, ST is 5.4, TU is 5.4 and UR is 5.4. So that means this all are the same. You don't have to write RS is 5.4, ST is this, you can just put is equal to sign in between. So that says that that is 5.4. So now we will see the steps of construction so now first thing let us i'll show you this one this is not with the exact measurement you can draw it you will start with rs that is 5.4 centimeter you can do this with the scale now r is given as 60 degree to we cannot directly put your protector over here and make it to 60 degree i'll show you how to do this one first we have to draw the per, this one perpendicular that will be 90 degree this one bisector so here you will take on your compass you will take a suitable scale and draw an arc over here so whatever the measurement is here same thing you will keep it and you will cut this into two then from here you will draw one arc from this point you will draw another arc so now this is a point of intersection so this is now perpendicular bisector same thing you will do for this one taking the s point you will draw an arc you will divide it from here you will start you will divide it into two parts from here you will take and you will draw an arc from here you will take and draw an arc and this is the perpendicular bisector so now whenever you draw this two arc this one and this one and this is the perpendicular bisector so this is 60 degree because now see here all the angles whenever we write this 90 now inside angles are less than 90 and outside angles are more than 90 so this is going to be 60 and this is going to be 90 and this is going to be 120 the first arc is going to be 60 so now you know this is 60 so now you will draw one line over here so same thing is here you will draw an arc take the with the same measurement you will draw two arcs over here so now in this case because you know this is 90 degree and that this is here so this is the outside part be careful here was this part was the outside part so this was 60 degree here what happens here this is the outside part this is 90 and this is more than 90 because this is the angle inside so this is going to be 60 hope this is clear so the 120 is going to be outside here so this will be now see here this is 90 this whatever you are doing this two arcs so this is going to be 60 and this is going to be 120 60, 90, 120. So now this arc you are going to look at, and this we got dark, so you are going to draw a straight line. So now that is done. So now we know because it's a rhombus, all the sides are equal. So now see here this thing, not, not here, 60, but from here to here because we have drawn this line. This was just a perpendicular bisector. So this part is 60 degree, and now we are not going to look at this part. 
for this part. So this is 120. So be careful while labeling it. So now we know that all the sides are same. So now what will you do? You will take 5.4 starting from here. On the compass, you will take 5.4. Draw an arc over here. Same from here, you will take and draw an arc over here. So now you know this is the point of intersection. So now you will draw a line. So what will be that? RS, you can just put here T and this is U. So that is what they have asked. RS to U. You have to construct this rhombus. So same thing, the steps are given over here. You can have a look at the steps. You can also write it in your own words. So this is done. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.